After almost a decade of research and experimentation, the SAFIRE project has developed unique new discoveries in the field of plasma reactions. Go to the center button to the left, the on top. The SAFIRE team has found the key to generating medium temperature plasmas. SAFIRE can create, control, contain, sustain, and repeat a wide variety of plasma regimes. The plasma self-organizes and develops its own electromagnetic containment field. Based on these discoveries, the SAFIRE project has established Orion Energy Limited to develop commercial technologies for major worldwide markets. SAFIRE is a clean plasma reactor that can produce energy, generate rare earth elements, and has the potential to eliminate radioactive waste. How does SAFIRE work? We introduce hydrogen into the chamber. The anode is a metal alloy. The power going in is electrical. The reaction at the core generates heat. The heat would be used to create steam and run a turbine to generate electricity. The hydrogen can then be captured and reused. The output will be electricity, the majority going to an external grid. Any surplus can be routed back to the power input. To date, all the reactions, all measurements and analysis show this to be a clean process, producing no negative radioactive side effects. In fact, note that radioactive fuel is not required. Sapphire is mixing elements at the atomic level. What you are looking at is a patented design that uses atomic hydrogen in a self-organized plasma. The atomic hydrogen interacts with the other elements in the chamber, causing unique nuclear reactions that can be controlled to change one element to another. And these are the 17 elements that Sapphire produced as a consequence of the nuclear reactions so far. What you are looking at here is an experiment run over several hours. We are adjusting the chemistry to get different results. The aim being to explore higher energy levels. On this day, the rise in temperature over time was what we were intending. It even exceeded our expectations. Three separate analyses had been done by experts in computational fluid dynamics. All three predicted that with 100% input power, we would reach the thermal limit of the chamber. And for three years, these predictions had been accurate. But with our new adjustments and using only 7% input power, we very quickly reached the thermal limit. It was the elemental transmutations that were responsible for the rise in temperature over time that was almost 14 times what was predicted. The tokamak and ITER reactors draw many millions of watts of power in an attempt to contain collisional plasmas to obtain fusion. At a cost of billions of dollars, huge international projects have been trying to contain plasmas, utilizing vast arrays of superconducting magnets. So far, this has been unsuccessful. Fission reactors split the atom, and although they have an efficiency of around 35%, they also produce radioactive waste. This radioactive waste is being buried in the ground or stored in facilities at enormous expense. None of it is benign. Some of it is deadly, even after a half-life of over a million years. How is Sapphire different? Lenner, cold fusion, and all existing fission reactors are low or low-medium temperature nuclear reactors. 
They require specially prepared solid fuels, which are expensive and in the case of fission reactors, often dangerously radioactive. Fission reactors are relatively safe, stable, but they produce radioactive spent fuel, which is extremely problematic and not safe. Fusion reactors are high temperature reactors. They also require some form of radioactive fuel, and so far they are inherently unstable and not yet producing electricity. Sapphire is a medium temperature plasma reactor, currently producing a controllable stable plasma which can be generated at will and run continuously over extended periods of time. Sapphire produces no environmentally dangerous or detrimental side effects. Self-organizing systems are a natural process occurring throughout nature. Sapphire forms its own electromagnetic containment field into a self-organizing plasma. It uses hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Out of the 11 most abundant inorganic elements found in the interstellar medium, nine were also found in the sapphire reactor chamber after an experiment. They were not there before the experiment. Is there a way to get a higher resolution on these? Yeah, I'll I'll do it right now. Okay. And then we have carbon with barium, titanium, zinc, chromium. Once it was obvious transmutation was occurring, the Sapphire team began to discover other uses for the technology. And uh, lanthanum and cerium. Two of the transmuted elements found in the Sapphire chamber are lanthanum and cerium, both of which are considered rare earth elements. Rare earth elements represent a vast global market. Mining them directly from the earth has a disastrous effect on the environment. Producing them in a clean lab would have enormous benefits. We, we asked him, if we put our probe close to the anode, what's going to happen to it? If you're in this range of densities and electron temperatures, then this is what's going to happen to your probe. This must have been for a certain distance away, maybe like a centimeter away or something like that, right? This is not just some sort of layered, linear plasma. These are rings. They're round rings. Studies and experiments have shown that when radioactive waste is exposed to hydrogen isotope nuclei, the decay rate of the radioactive material can be accelerated, even to the point of neutralizing the radioactivity. Sapphire creates an environment where hydrogen nuclei interact with other elements, creating spherical double-layer shells. Within these shells, electrons, ions, and molecules are trapped by powerful, self-organizing electromagnetic fields. It is in this environment where radioactive material would be exposed to the hydrogen nuclei to greatly reduce or even eliminate the radioactivity of that material. Converting radioactive waste to base elements will release energy. This energy can be harnessed to drive a turbine and generate electricity. Right now, there are 450 successful nuclear fission plants on the Earth. Imagine if they could produce energy without creating radioactive waste. And from that one, calculate the strength of the electric field. Sapphire is an international team from a structural perspective, got the MEF. which has worked with consultants from Lockheed Martin USDOD, Los Alamos, Lawrence Livermore Labs, Space Propulsion Consultants, the University of Toronto, Canadian Nuclear Laboratories, and more.
Orion Energy now takes the Sapphire Project from pure scientific research and development to commercial enterprise. Upgrades are made to the Sapphire Chamber. The gas vacuum, gas panel. All closed. Above minus one bar on the analog gate. Minus one bar. Check. Check. Refinements are made to the protocols, procedures, and instrument calibration. Check. Check. Panel vacuum control. This improves control and shortens the time between experiments. The checklist for starting up Sapphire cycles through a hundred essential points. Check. Check. Mass flow control is off. Running the Sapphire reactor is like flying a 747 jet airliner Check. Check. without autopilot. Okay, left side of the panel. Roof the team now focuses on Roof repeatability. Right. Check. Check. Yeah, that's clearly a 670. That's most likely lithium. Or the 674 showed up last weekend also. If we get that panel uh, really hot again, I can do the step and glue so it's just like, say, from. 500 nanometers on up to 700 because it'll collect the data a lot faster. Yeah, and we'll get more of an IR signature. Yes. It's a power of that with this new chemistry. Just okay, bring it right down. Something close. Open the valve. 860. Something wants to get out of the road. There we go. Five money, five money, five there we go. Now we're getting sunlight. Now we're getting there. Repeated testing yields results that accurately mirror previous experiments. The same type of tests yield the same type of results. The team can also stabilize and maintain plasma at higher energy levels than before and can more accurately confirm thermal and energy limits of the reactor core temperature. If we look at the Sapphire Plasma Reactor as a commercial product, these are the key technologies involved. Once designed, the proof of concept reactor was built in eight weeks. Oh, there we go, point four. And up and running as predicted within minutes. Once designed, the 44,000 part full-scale sapphire plasma reactor was built in 10 weeks and up and running as predicted within minutes. Fuel and the reactor are new technologies. Here, Sapphire enters one of the most critical phases of development. Yeah, we're trying to maintain symmetry as possible. We can. Yep. We start getting asymmetrical. Refining the fuel and reactor to deliver optimized nuclear reactions to produce a viable commercial product. Everything learned to date will now be applied to the development prototype. Think of the Sapphire Reactor as a Formula One racing car, attaching an 800 horsepower high performance racing engine to a 1970s Volkswagen Beetle drivetrain designed for a 54 horsepower consumer engine. Not a good idea. The development prototype allows Sapphire to find the perfect marriage between engine and drivetrain to funnel optimum power to the wheels. In this case, the wheels being the generator and the production of electricity. It is also here things can begin to accelerate. Unlike the fuel and reactor, the boiler, turbine and generator are well-established technologies. Integrating them into the design and build is an engineering exercise with known parameters and principles. 
Sapphire will then design and build an extremely efficient and now marketable commercial plasma reactor. It is here that variations in the design will be determined to address the requirements of the different potential markets. This process of developing a market prototype will be the same for energy production, generation of rare earth elements, or the elimination of radioactive waste. Orion Energy Limited is now commercializing the discoveries and technologies of the Sapphire project. The first application will be the elimination of radioactivity from radioactive fracking wastewater. Some say the Earth is the water planet. A human body is 60% water. A billion tons of radioactive waste is produced each year in the USA alone. The projected cost to clean up the accumulated waste is now $500 billion and rising. It goes into nuclear storage sites injection wells, municipal landfills, wastewater treatment facilities, or it is simply dumped where no one is looking. Disposing of the problem by moving it from one place to another does not remove the radioactivity. So radioactive waste leaches into the groundwater ends up in our rivers, our farm fields, our drinking water, our food, and us. In the U.S. there are tens of thousands of injection wells, abandoned mines, temporary nuclear storage sites, commercial and municipal dump sites, containing billions of tons of radioactive waste. It will take centuries to clean this up. The true cost? Beyond imagining. It is not a catastrophe in the making. It is a catastrophe now. The Sapphire Project has developed a unique new process. Nuclear valence excitation that can change one element into another. Changing one element into another is the key to eliminating radioactive nuclear waste. elements changing to other elements is a natural process existing everywhere in nature from the sun in the sky to the daisies in the field this is what is happening when radioactive uranium is changed into non-radioactive lead Orion Energy Limited now applies the sapphire discoveries and the NVE process to the very specific design and build of technology that can eliminate radioactivity and render it environmentally benign. Developing the new NVE technology will simultaneously provide for applications in energy production and the creation of rare earth elements. The Sapphire Project discoveries and the NVE process have opened a wellspring of new possibilities in science and technology. Orion Energy Limited is bringing these possibilities to market.
again. I know I'm 